What's going on guys? Josh here with Fall of Games. So I recently discovered a program, a tool of sorts for PC VR enthusiasts that I think is absolutely amazing and can open up the doors for the PC VR market. And that program is called Vorpex. And I figured I would just come on here and make a basic video on how it works and how to use it. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, and let's talk about Vorpex. Let's go. All right, so here we are back in the desktop, and before we go any further, let's talk a little bit about what Vorpex actually is. So, what is Vorpex? Vorpex is a compatibility layer, or a tool, that can be used to take flat screen games and put them into VR, a complete stereoscopic 3D VR environment, and honestly, it works pretty good with certain games. Now, it's not compatible with all games, but it is compatible with most games that are out there on the market today. Now, if you wanted to get Vorpex and try it out for yourselves, you guys can head over to Vorpex.com and I'll have a link down in the description below so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. But I will put a little caveat here. This program is not free. It is a $40 program, but to me, it is worth it and it does unlock the potential of my PC VR headset. Now, let's take a look at the Vorpex configuration tool as this is where you're going to be spending a little bit of time setting up Vorpex and setting up your VR headsets so that way you can have your flat screen games go into a full 3D VR environment. Now, once you open up the tool, you're greeted with the start page and you can do a few things here you can configure vorpex you can optimize games that are already in your library and you also have a help and troubleshoot section if you guys get stuck but where you want to look at here is you want to go to the general section and device selection now i'm using an hc vive here for this demo so i'm going to be keeping it on steam vr but this also has a option to use the oculus rift the quest or the rift s generic headset of your choice or even a generic 3d display now all these options in here you just want to leave alone just select the device that you want and roll on from there where the next place you want to go is cloud profiles now it's going to check my account you have to make an account in order to use this cloud profile and then what i want to do is i want to go to the top here and type in a game now say i'm going to be using fear 2 in the example of this game fear 2 and i'm also going to be using um portal 2 as well so you want to type the name exactly as the game is displayed. So right now, as you can see, I have a few different options. I have a few different uh, profiles here that somebody has, that other people have made. So I'm going to click on the Vorpex one, the Fear 2 Vorpex one. And all I want to do is click on Import Profile. And I'm going to hit Apply and Close. That's it. And you can see it was imported. You hit Apply and Close, and you're all set. Now, if I want to run Fear 2 in VR, all I have to do is go over to my Steam VR settings and click on Launch. Now, once Steam VR is up and running, I can go back to my Steam account and I can type in what game I want to run. So I'm going to run Fear 2 Project Origin here. And all I'm going to do is open it up and click on Play. It's going to give me a warning saying Fear 2 Project Origin does not support VR. It will appear on your desktop and may affect VR performance. I'm just going to go OK. Just ignore those warnings that pop up because they are not made for VR games. So what it's going to do is going to double up the display and put my game on my display as well as in my headset. Now, as you can see here, I am running Fear 2 Project Origin completely in VR. Now, every time you load up Vorpex, you're going to be greeted with these tips on how to use Vorpex while you're in the VR space. And right here is telling me to recenter tracking if it feels odd in any way. You hit Alt and Spacebar. And I am using keyboard and mouse controls here, as it is the easiest and most of the games don't support VR controls out of the box. And as you can see here, you may be noticing that I am moving my head slightly because I am using keyboard and mouse. I can adjust my aiming and my positioning just by using my mouse, but I can also use head tracking as well to aim down the sights. Now, as you can see, I am hip firing for most of this because it is a little wonky when you're aiming down the sights. It does feel a little weird since the reticle in the middle, which gives you a little bit of a disembodied feeling and your aiming feels a little bit off. So hip firing seems to be a little bit more accurate. And honestly, as I was playing through this game, it just felt a lot better. Now you do get a full sense of immersion while you are playing Fear 2 Project Origin in VR using Vorpex. It is completely surrounded. You can free look around using just the head tracking and it works quite well. I'm honestly impressed by this piece of software. But now let's take a look at Portal 2. 
Now playing Portal 2 felt well, really you know good, formula. but at the same time well, it felt really off as well. Like I felt like I was getting a ton of eye strain while so I was trying to play this game. Now I am running both of these games at a 1600 by 1200 resolution, which seems to work best for my VR headset. Your mileage may vary and you may be able to turn up the resolution here or there on certain titles. But the sweet spot for me was 1600 by 1200. Now getting back to the eye strain feeling that I was getting in Portal 2. Now the 3D effect works quite well, but I felt like everything was zoomed in or I was a little too close to my portal gun and everything around me. It just felt a little off and no matter how many times I did the head tracking or reset the head tracking and fiddled around with the settings, it just seemed just not quite right. Even though it, the game was absolutely immersive and I was completely in VR and in this one you can really see my the head tracking working quite well. Uh, moving around you can use your head tracking to aim the portal gun and just look around in general. It just felt really good but at the same time I just felt like the clarity inside the headset I was trying to focus on too much at once and that's a kind of an issue I've been finding with some of these games. The other thing with Portal 2 is actually when you're going through the portals you do get a sense of disorientation and it makes you almost want to fall over, like an equilibrium is a little bit off. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that, with this game, but at the same time, it just felt completely wonky. But overall, Portal 2 was a pretty decent experience in VR. I just wish that Valve would actually release a Portal game completely in VR and not just leave it to, you know, independent developers like the Portal Stories Mel series. Because Portal 2 in VR would be absolutely fantastic if it was natively supported. And that right there is Vorpex in a nutshell, a nice little compatibility tool that allows you to play non-VR games in completely immersive VR. Now, like I said earlier, this software is not free. It does cost $40 US, but to me, it is well worth it. And if you guys want to check it out for yourself, head down to the description and click on the link below to find out more information. If you guys found this video useful, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And also consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. But until next time, guys, I'm Joshua for Love Games, signing out. Have a great day.